hi there it's been a while um just thought i'd update the world of social media on my life um basically i've been written off health wise um by the doctors well pain management anyway let me start again um a couple of days ago i went to a pain clinic for um pain management um to see if there's anything else they can do um regarding all the pain that i go through um and the amount of medication that i take i mean i'm on i don't think uh, 32 different kinds of medications at the moment <laughs> um and sometimes none of them hit the spot well most of the time really um and things are getting worse for me and i don't know what to do so i eventually got seen by a pain clinic after 10 years of trying and i went in there if you looked at my list of medications that I was taking and basically said to me that I'm on the highest level of of pain pain relief that I can take and there's there's nothing they can do for me so you know after after 10 years of trying to get help to manage my pain because the meds aren't working or as Richard Ashcroft sang in the 90s the drugs don't work um there's no, nothing they can do for me um, the thing he suggested was talking therapy. I mean, <laughs> how how can you, like, <laughs> how how can you um, get over pain by talking about it? I mean. I'm talking about it now and I'm thinking about it and it's making it worse and I mean I've got severe depression as well which I tried to try to get a hold of my doctors a couple of days ago as well on the same day told them that it was an emergency um an emergency and they told they said that they'll they'll call back between uh two and four that afternoon and they never did and they still haven't phoned me and i've i've checked to see whether i could see anyone face to face and yeah there's no appointments at all until the 21st of June and that's with one doctor that I've, I've never even met and it's literally for like one time 2pm in the afternoon which is no good because I mean I'll be waiting for my my boy to come home from school I mean I've got an 11 year old son 
that I need to look after as well. You know, it's really hard. All this, this I don't know what to do. I wish my my, my stepmom was here because she'd be able to talk. I'd be able to talk to her, but she's no longer with us. She died last year. My dad is he's really unwell as well. He's got an aneurysm. Waiting for an operation, and my my birth mother just like hasn't spoken to me for a number of years now, and she abandoned me, and the whole side of that family has turned their back on me because. Because I came out with the truth about what my cousin did to me when I was 13 years old. I told, I told my birth mom that, that he raped me when I was 13. And she, she questioned her sister. And he, he denied it, obviously. And... And now, and now everyone doesn't talk to me anymore. Everyone's just, just abandoned me. The only, the only people I've got is, is my, is my other half and, and my son. And they, and they, they care for me. But I can't go out anywhere. It's another thing as well. I'm stuck, stuck at home. Really, it's my. This is my living room at home. I mean, look at it. I got this is my my bed. I I sleep in the living room. It's a hospital bed, and I have my toilet. Sorry, almost dropped my phone. I have my toilet right there, right next to me. The thing is called a commode, and I have to wait for my other half to come home from work and empty it so it gets filled up over the day because I'm by myself. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come on here and start crying. <laughs> Sometimes I just... I haven't got any, like, friends to talk to, like, that I see. No, I don't see anyone. <laughs> Literally stuck inside these four walls. So I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> and then, I didn't come on here to, to cry and everything. <laughs> and then, I'm sorry if it is. I'm just. If I'm um, sounding like <laughs> just, I don't know, I'm, like, my head hurts. <laughs> I've always got a headache as well. <laughs> it won't stop. <laughs> I've got lumps, lumps appearing everywhere. I don't know what they are, but I can't, I can't see anyone, I can see
they would want to see me. Sorry. I know people say always look on the bright side of life, but <laughs> my cats are closed all day, so there's no bright side to my life, I'm afraid. <laughs> the only bright thing in my life is my boy. I love him so much. Is the only thing that's stopping me from doing anything silly, like wanting to finish things. Because I keep thinking to myself that I'm a burden to everyone. So I, that, like, that, like my, my partner and my son as well. to look after me because I'm too useless to look after myself <laughs> I wish I knew why this was happening to me I just feel like I'm cursed A few years ago, I was, I was, wasn't like this. I was, I was fine. <laughs> now at the moment, I feel like uh, that lads in Blair Witch Project with the snot coming out of my nose. <laughs> this is what I look like anyway. Without the PD hat. Anyway, I'm done with my medication now. At least that's something I can do by myself. I'll try not to think too much. Even though I feel like it. Hopefully I'll still be around. <laughs> the only thing keeping me here is my boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye.